my guruji at that point of time from him i learned on how to step back into a macro picture and look at the world in a very different manner so you look at it from a 40000 feet up that you know in the scheme of things how is this particular incident going to matter that is a very spiritual kind of a thought process which keeps you going The thought behind it was that we are relying on an oil-based economy. At some point of time, that natural resource is going to deplete. Now, when you're using an electric vehicle, it's a much easier vehicle to use. It saves you money, and plus, it saves the environment. It was my guruji there in Nagpur when I was studying in a boarding school at that point in Sanar. A great impact was also because of Sanar, because of the way that we were brought up in school. So it was a kind of a military school, and so you had to do certain things, and it brought discipline. in my life always i would have never had that level of discipline waking up early in the morning doing the things that you had to your shoes should be constantly shined your hair should be constantly groomed and the biggest thing i learned from there was never give in so you have to fight through thick and thin first and foremost is that i have to have a strong belief amongst uh, what i'm doing and then my team's got to believe in me and i have to explain so it's not about giving an order and then hoping everybody else will follow they do have to believe in it I think when you're trying to make a change like this one it's not fast it doesn't happen quickly second it cannot happen beyond conviction so if you don't have conviction it's this certainly no way to do it so photography is something that I've always enjoyed when I'm traveling I am virtually with my camera all the time So when I'm behind the lens and I'm looking through the viewfinder, it's a kind of a spiritual angle for me. For me, this is in some form meditation. And when I get stressed, I actually de-stress by processing my pictures. I travel a lot, like I said, and I really enjoy adventure sports. So I'm a deep sea diver, nitrox diver, which is an advanced diver, and I've done wreck diving. I've dived with sharks, and I also do skydiving where possible. I also have done bungee jumping. But you only live once, you know, so you might as well enjoy what you're doing. We I don't about think about uh, leaving a legacy or anything of that sort. I just think about, you know, making an impact. And so that's what drives me actually. It's that creation of that whole new ecosystem which didn't exist till we decided to venture into it. You have to persevere. There is no shortcuts. There are challenges on a day-to-day -day basis, and things just don't seem to work out. Sometimes it's just best to walk away and come back and fight another day. That's that's what I believe.